get real. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, welcome to the fourth installment of Get Real. Um, this was supposed to be the musical episode, but I want to save that for a time when I've got all my friends here and all that stuff so it can be extra entertaining. But today is the Quentin Tarantino episode, my friends. One of my favorite directors of all time and writers. Oh my gosh, he's just plain amazing. I love him to pieces. Oh. Well, like I said, Quentin Tarantino episode, so let's get the ball rolling. I don't want to waste any time. Um, the movies we're going to go through today are Reservoir Dogs. I think this was 1994, if I am correct, somewhere around there. We're also going to go through Kill Bill Volume 1 and Kill Bill Volume 2. I would have Pulp Fiction. I can't find it, um, but I do have the movie, and that's a great movie as well. Um, all right, well, let's just get started because... I can't ruin this any more than I already have. All right, Reservoir Dogs. Quentin Tarantino, like I already said. It is not 1994, it's 1992, actually. I think this was his first, this was the movie that pretty much got his career started. Um, it's got some great, great, great stars. Um, Michael Madsen, Stephen Buscemi, um, Harvey Keitel, and Tim Roth are just a few. Um, the synopsis pretty much for this movie is, it's a heist movie, um, it's about these gangsters and thugs or whatever, they're not really gangsters or thugs, they're just kind of criminals, I guess, and they all have code names pretty much, which is like Mr. Blonde, Mr. Pink, Mr. White, Mr. Orange, things like that, and I um, they are supposed to be robbing a jewelry store for diamonds and things go wrong, and it's just kind of about kind of about like the, the showdown kind of at the, it, it's it's hard to describe but it, it is pretty much about the inner workings of the highest and what happens when things go wrong and people turn on each other and there, there's a rat in the system and all this crazy stuff it's a great movie um there's lots of violence but it is a tarantino film so you can't really have a tarantino film without violence that's just wrong um my favorite scene in the whole movie is the ear scene michael madsen is amazing i I just, whew, he's amazing. I love him to pieces. Um, also in this movie is Chris Penn, and as you probably have, would have noticed if you pay any attention to the recent news, um, he passed away in January. He was Nice Guy Eddie in this film, and we miss him so much. Chris Penn, rest in peace, bro. You're so, oh, I just love you to pieces. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I love Reservoir Dogs. Um, I'm going to give it a... 7 out of 10. The beginning is kind of slow. It picks up toward the end and it just, it's, it's a great film. You just really have to be patient and stick, stick with it. Um, some great quotes that you'll remember forever. Great, great, great. I've already broken my great rule, but I don't care. Alright. Kill Bill, Volume 1. Um... If you haven't seen Kill Bill yet, then you have problems. You really need to see it. Um, oh my gosh. I love Kill Bill. Oh. 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 Okay, Uma Thurman plays the leading lady in this, um, this film. Um, she plays a character named Beatrix Kidd, I do believe. And in the first movie, it does, doesn't tell you her name. It beeps it out every time someone says it. And it's pretty much about... She was getting married, and um, this team of assassins that she used to work with comes and pretty much kills everyone that would be taking part in the wedding, even the even the organ player. Um, and, and they shot her in the head, but she lived. And it's about her getting revenge, um, and it's amazing. Um, it's a spaghetti western, pretty much. Um, crazy, crazy action, crazy violence, but uh, totally unrealistic violence. It's what a spaghetti western is. Like, you cut off someone's head and blood shooting everywhere, and it's crazy. Um, people in this movie, um, Uma Thurman, like I already said, Vivica Fox, I'm trying to think, um, Lucy Liu, I think she plays Oren Ishii. Um, <laughs> I don't know who plays anyone else. I'm trying to look and find it without being completely obvious that I don't know what I'm talking about, but I guess I already screwed that up. Good movie. 
I loved it. I, I think you can watch this one over and over again without being bored because it's just amazing. Tarantino's amazing. Alright, I'm going to give the first Kill Bill a 8 out of 10. I, I loved it. Um, has everything a girl could want. Violence. Violence and um, uh, humor. Alright, Kill Bill Volume 2. Um, I know several people who believe that Kill Bill Volume 2 is even better than the original and that's not my personal opinion but I don't know Kill Bill Volume 2 stand, is, is stands up by itself completely and totally um, not the same amount of violence as the first one a little it's a little toned down but it's the the drama the the it's it's there it's amazing the ending is so sweet and innocent and sad and wonderful at the same time and ah, I don't want to give anything away so I'm not going to but pretty much Uma Thurman Beatrix Kid is still going down her list um, killing all the members of her former assassin group and she's getting toward the end of her list um, with Bill and his brother and that one-eyed chick can't remember her name um, this movie is a little less artistic than the first one. It, the other one had some awesome artistic elements. This one is still a masterpiece, though. I, I love it. Tarantino will never let you down. It's, oh, I just love it to pieces. Oh my gosh, I've already said that like 50 billion times, but I'm okay with that. Um, Kill Bill, Volume 2. I don't remember what I gave the last one, but I'm going to give this one a 7. Probably an 8. Somewhere, you know, I just... They're great films. N numbers really don't mean anything. If you haven't seen it yet, you really need to. It's an amazing, amazing film. So let's have a run through of all the films again, and then I've got some more stuff to say, and then we'll be out. Reservoir Dogs. I can't remember far back enough to remember what I gave this movie. It's nearly 12 o'clock in the morning, so I think I gave it an 8 or 7, somewhere around there. Oh well. Kill Bill Volume 2. One. The hell is my problem? Um, good movie, good movie, good movie. I think I gave her an eight. Watch it. Because I said so. Damn it. I'm so profane. Volume 2. Great movie. Some say it's better than the original. Not my personal opinion. But, yeah, whatever floats your boat. Violence. Whew. I love it. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I gave this an eight or nine. But yes, okay, now it's time for Stacy's one-on-one -on -one conversation with her fans. Um, I don't really have any fans, so I can't really have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you, but this episode was completely and totally inspired by Logan Dooley. Um, if he hadn't been inter interested in watching any of these at all, I probably wouldn't have been inspired to do any more. But yeah, so here's episode number four, your Tarantino tribute. I hope you um, enjoyed this episode and will watch anything I make ever again. I, I felt like I haven't been funny this episode, so I'm going to leave you with a joke that I like to ask. Well, not ask, but say. It's really lame. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Because I don't think you're ready. Okay. Two peanuts were walking down a dark alley. One was assaulted. Have fun, folks, and a good spring break. Hallelujah. Goodbye.